is Kayla Light, and welcome to SCSU TV News. And I'm Sarah Lemire. Today we'll talk about the events that took place at Southern last week, as well as the upcoming events. The Virtual Dance Innovations event was held on Friday, March 12th from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Students were able to cheer on the SCSU dance team as they competed against other dance teams at the Dance Innovations. Southern also hosted flower pot painting where students were invited to the Farnham programming space to paint flower pots and plant seeds as spring approaches. On Monday, Anime Society welcomed all gamers to Among Us Night. The meeting was held on Microsoft Teams. For students who are interested, the event will be at, held every Monday and Wednesday from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. moving forward. The Sage Center partnered with the Career and Professional Development Center to give students tips on finding an inclusive workplace. The three-part event series took place throughout March and the last event took place on March 16th on Instagram Live. For more information about the offices, you can check out their pages on Owl Connect. With COVID-19 vaccinations becoming available, SCSU TV's Ian Gilbert hears students' thoughts. Let's see what students had to say. Hello everyone, welcome to SCSU TV. I'm Ian Gilbert, and today we'll be interviewing students to see how they feel about the vaccination that will be taking place later this year. Let's go talk to them and find out. Um, I do not think I'm going to get the vaccine anytime soon. I am a little scared of what exactly is in it. Um, I'm scared about um, Johnson & Johnson. Um, I think that company is not too, um, I don't know, I don't trust them. They have a lot of products that I don't think are, have the right ingredients. So I don't, I would not trust a vaccine made by them. I think Connecticut's doing pretty well with how they're handling it. And I think yesterday, I think we got um, like April 5th, like everyone can get it. So I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I definitely think. You should get vaccinated, but like also keep wearing masks and all that stuff until it's over. I, I really do think everyone should take the vaccine. It's it's something that's going to help this country get back to normalcy, whatever normalcy is going to look like. Uh, Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson Johnson, just just take it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and when it's your time, I, I would say don't wait for somebody else to get it. Get it yourself. And that's all that students had to say for this one. That's all for me. I'm Ian Gilbert reporting from New Haven. The Owl softball team swept the Felican College 10-2 and 4-2 at home on Pell's Field this weekend. Graduate student Sarah Buschetto stole three bases in the victories to put her third in the all-time SCSU list for most stolen bases with 48. The Owls are competing next weekend on March 20th against Lemoyne College. The games are available to view live or on demand at SCSUOwls.com. The men's baseball team kicks off their season this weekend as well against St. Anselm College. The, this ends the long year hiatus after their season was canceled midway th through due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The game begins at 12 p.m. on March 20th and can be streamed live or on demand at scsuowls.com. Do you like pie? Well, yesterday, Programs Council had hosted Pie Day in the ASC Resource Room from 12.30 to 1.30. Students were able to get a free slice of pie. Go on Owl Connect to find any future events being hosted so you don't miss out on your slice. Also yesterday, the National Student Nurses Association hosted their weekly meeting called Body Meetings online from 1.30 to 2.30. They discuss news about the club and any future events. If you are interested, attend one of their meetings to find out more details about the club. SCSU TV's correspondent Kiara Smith spoke with Jackson Lamar, a senior at Southern, about his passion for journalism and his future plans. Let's take a look. Jackson Lamar, a senior at Southern, talks about his journey that made him choose a future career in journalism. My senior year in high school, I had no idea where I wanted to go. My plan was just to go undecided. Um, it wasn't until I took a journalism course uh, at my high school in Bristol Eastern. Uh, the teacher was really uh, supportive. He thought my writing was really good and he thought, and he told me all about, you know, writing for the news, telling the truth, and not write, really writing about your feelings. So that's kind of why I venture towards journalism and I really love it. Lamar says he enjoys talking, creating content, getting footage, and taking pictures, which he says makes him capable of doing anything. The reason I chose Southern, it was in, it was in state. <laughs> um, and it's, all, it's just a lot cheaper for the budget. I think it was smart to stay here. Lamar recently received an offer to attend Sacred Heart University for his master's in communication. That would be sitting down interviewing someone on TV or even working behind the camera over a Sacred Heart. Obviously, I don't know if I want to do that yet. It's still up in the air. Lamar remains optimistic about COVID-19 as he believes it encourages him to work harder to receive more opportunities.
Uh, obviously, there's struggles, but I think I'm ready to adapt and find a job. I'm Kiara Smith, reporting from New Haven. Last night, there was a virtual bingo night held online by the Programs Council from 8 p.m. to until midnight. Students were able to win prizes if they won. Anyone interested can find the Microsoft team page they posted on Owl Connect. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this edition of SCSU TV News. My name is Kayla Light. And I'm Sarah Lemire. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube at SCSU TV. Thanks for watching.